Today, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to set up field audit history and tracking on an account in less than three minutes. So if you're on the setup page where you want to go, is you want to go to the object manager and you want to find it, it we're going to use account, but it can be any object and then navigate to the fields and relationships section and then click set history tracking. Now from here, if this isn't checked already, you want to enable account history that will make the account history object visible. And then you want to pick the fields. You can pick up to 20 here um, that you want to track on. So you see, we've got account name, account owner, annual revenue. And I believe there's one more day since last visit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to click save. And now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the Alpine Group Salesforce account. Now, a couple things here. You want to make sure that you've got the account history both on this lightning page layout as well as the page layout on the account. So if you come over to the page layout and you come over, we'll go to this layout. Just make sure that that related list is on the, here as well as editing this page and making sure that you bring over that related list wherever it makes sense. So you can just have it as a part of all related lists here. We're just, we're just getting that single related list for account history. Okay. So we'll navigate back. And then let's see how this works. So if we kind of come over details, so let's say I decided to change the name from Alpine Group to Alpine Group Partners. Now what this is going to do over, over here, it's going to show the original value, the new value, who did it, the account name and at what time. And you can see all of the activity that's going on with changes regarding this account since it's all tracked on the back end in account history. And that's how you set up field history auditing within Salesforce in less than three minutes.